All right, fourth graders, so we're going to review two digit by one digit division. And if we remember, division is the action, the action of separating, separating something into equal parts. So we're going to start with 48 divided by 6 and we're just going to show what that means with a picture. So 48 divided by 6 means 48 divided into 6 groups. And in those 6 groups we'll have an equal number of and we'll have an equal number in each group. So if we have 48 here and we have six groups, so we're going to put that 48 into one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so we can start. I'm going to count by one all the way up to 48 to see how many we can get. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six of the 48. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So 48 divided into six groups means that in each group there will be eight because this is five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, 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 eight and eight. So 48 divided into six groups makes groups of eight. So our answer would be eight. All right, let's move on to another problem. All right, for these two problems, we're going to focus on the box method. So what we do when we start for our first step of the box method is we draw a big rectangle. We draw a big rectangle and we draw a line down the middle because we have two digits. We have one in the tens place and one in the ones place. We draw our one and our six. We draw our multiplication and then we draw our divisor, what we're dividing into. So we've got our dividend, which is what we're dividing into, and our divisor is how many groups. So can I multiply a number four times a number and get one? If we start with the smallest, which is four times one, four times one is four. A number smaller than one would be zero. So four times zero equals zero. So there's no number that we can do that is smaller or the same as one, except for zero. So we're gonna do four times zero, because that is smaller than one. We're gonna take it away. One minus zero is one. And then we're gonna carry that up on over to 16. Now we're thinking four times what number equals 16? So let's continue. We've got four times two equals eight. Four times three equals 12. Then 4 times 4 equals 16. Here we have it. 4 times 4 equals 16. That's equal to or smaller than 16. It's exactly the same. So 4 times what number? 4 equals 16. Then we take away the 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. So our remainder is 0, leaving us with an answer of just 4. All right, for this next problem, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make our box, box right here. We're breaking it in two. We put our nine here because it's in our tens place, our five here. We got our multiplication sign. Then we've got our five on the edge. First thing we're going to do is how many times can five fit into nine without going over? So five times one equals five. Five times two equals 10. 10 is bigger than 9, so we have to go back and we do 5 times 1. 
So one group of five fits into nine. Five times one is equal to five, so we're gonna take away five from there. Nine minus five is four, and then we're gonna carry that on up here. Four, and we've got 45 now. How many times does five fit into 45? So we'll go five times three equals 15. Five times four equals 20. Five times five equals 25. Five times six equals 30. Five times seven equals 35. Five times eight equals 40. Then five times nine equals 45. <gasps> Perfect, five times nine equals 45. That's exactly equal to what we have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our nine here because we've got our five times nine equals 45. We know that five times nine equals 45. 45 minus 45 is equal to zero. Our remainder is zero. Our answer is 19. We put it all together and that's it. Let's do one more problem together. Here we have six divided by 96. We're gonna draw our rectangle. It's our first step. Then we're gonna break it in two because we have one, two place values. Our nine goes first, our six goes second. We draw our divisor on the outside. We do our multiplication. Six times what number equals nine or is less than nine? So let's start right here. Six times one equals six. Six times two equals 12. Oh, 12 is too big, so we go back and we do six times one. One group of six fits into nine. Six times one equals six. We take that away. Nine minus six is equal to three. We carry that three on over here because we can't forget about it. Three is up here, it makes 36. How many times does six fit into 36? So we continue with our multiplication. Six times three equals 18. Six times four equals 24. Six times five equals 30. And six times six equals 36. Oh, we found it. It's exactly equal, equal to what we have here. So six times six, because we're working in this second box, equals 36. We're gonna take away the 36 that we found because six groups of six, 36 minus 36 is equal to zero. So we have a remainder of zero. There's nothing left over. We made, when we have 96 divided into six groups, there will be 16 in each. All right, that is it.